You're on the year, chef of the future. And look at this, we get a fucking ad. It's all set to rock it and suck it. Go pick a pick a pal. What the fuck? When Star Wars get the boringest fucking sponsors in the world. Awesome. So. Self soliciting pig fuckers. Cause you know what we got you know what we got here at the World Game of Scores. Look at uh, West 28th Street, Thigh 36 and shit. We got red girls, we got blonde girls, we got brunette girls, we got tall girls, we got small girls, we got the pussy for all day long. Pleasures. We got the Rachel, we got the Stephanie, and they're shaking their ass to the all-American cash. So tip our girls off and tip them well here at the World Famous Scores. www.scoresny.com Messages now. Plus one, two, one, six, three, zero, seven, zero, three, one, seven. Good evening. I'm a Johnson & Wales student looking to read for Adam Wonders. Okay. Go on. Maybe she, maybe she shake, maybe it's just someone that can shake their ass. For the American Cash at one of the greatest strip clubs in all of Providence, Rhode Island. The place where the comic pimp was born. The Foxy Lady. I mean, because it's a club everyone in Providence needs to go to the Foxy Lady. It's awesome sauce. And without the Foxy Lady, there'd be no awesome sauce comics. There'd be no blind out on the comic pen. And the life would be boring for Adam and me. And that's the truth, yo. Yeah! It's awesome. So... We should get them to sponsor the show. Call them sometime next week. Earn your fucking money. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> and we'll paint all the bitches' faces white and the town red. Yeah, 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 cause it's awesome so <laughs> And I like how people just like answer the answer a motherfucking Craigslist ad for a job. I'm interested. I I just say what the job man. No information. Now how hello, how are you? No, I saw your ad, it's nice to meet you. No fucking etiquette! No fucking manners! What's up with that shit? Yeah! I mean... You just say like, my name is Cindy. I'm a hooker on 183rd Street in Amsterdam Avenue. I've sucked four thousand dicks! I'm interested in the position! And then I'll make her assume the position, because that's what she's saying, because she's good at. And then we have a dialogue about her possibly getting a job here at Awesome Sauce Comics. But no! I'm interested. The fuck, man? I ain't asking no job at motherfuckers. Yeah! Awesome. Ah. Ah. Hello, folks. This is Adam Wonders, the comic pimp. Uh, you are. I am the mentally undeveloped party host here at the Awesome Sauce Comics podcast. Thanksgiving Eve. Um. November. Um, what the fuck is today's date? Sit Wednesday, November 22. 
That's November 22nd, 2017. We are back on the scene. Um, doing a little quick episode today. Uh, you know, uh, getting ready for uh, Hanukkah, Christmas, Thanksgiving. Um, you know, Kwanzaa. Uh, What? 420, even though that's like three months away. Um. I'm telling you, man. But, you know, Thanksgiving, the fucking forgotten holiday is tomorrow. You know that holiday that no one remembers? It's between Halloween and Christmas and shit? I mean, it's tomorrow. When the Indians. Whoops! Gotta be politically correct! The Native Americans, and up until about 2000, 2003 or so, it was always Indians. I mean, what the fuck did Native Americans replace Indians? What's up with that? You know? When the blind become visually impaired? No one gave me even the memo on that one either, motherfuckers. Fuck political correctness. That's what I say. Uh, but, you know, you know, it's the holiday where the Indians, a.k.a. Native Americans, gave thanks to the pilgrims, you know, for helping them get through the, or was it the, epi oh, wait, or did the pilgrims, over here, pilgrim, what you looking at, pilgrim, I fuck you up, pilgrim, John Wayne style and shit. Yeah! Gippy Kaye, motherfucker! Test the fire! Um. I don't know. This is the how. This is the. Tomorrow is the day for giving thanks. Eating turkey. Drinking beer. Eating more cheese. Crackers. Okay, go on. Um. Drinking a Mike's Hard Lemonade. Eating chocolate pudding pie. I miss my grandma's chocolate pudding pie. Uh, my grandmother, God rest her soul, you know, she made the most amazing, most delicious truck and pudding pie on the face of the fucking planet. I miss her cooking. But, uh, just be, but tomorrow we give thanks. So, uh, you know, I'm thankful for all of you. I'm thankful for you, the awesome sauce family. I'm thanking for you for inviting me into your lives, into your homes, and being a part of my family and help me live. And together here at the Awesome Sauce Network, we help each other live, live each other's dreams. We turn fantasy into reality. You know, we kick gas, we take names, we pimp whores, we gain fame. And we testify! But I'm very, very blessed to have a roof over my head. I'm very, very blessed that starting in January 2018, I'll be by Coastal. We'll be doing the, well, finally, going to be setting up the new studio across the bridge in Manhattan. And then we'll be going on a tour, starting with the, with, uh, the Ace Comic Con in Phoenix, maybe. But we'll definitely be at the AVNs out in Vegas. Um, and we're going to do what our boy Kid Rock says in the song. We're going to start an escort service for all the right reasons. Yeah! We're going to get ourselves some cosplay queens. Yeah! Ha! <sighs> no. But I thank everyone for the last six months to help me, you know, achieve some goals, make some dreams true. I love you guys. I cannot do this without you. There's a few people I want to thank, especially. I'm going to start with Alien Rob over at Abduction Wine. Yeah! Ha! Rob, thank you, buddy. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the support. Anyone wants to support Alien Rob, www.abductionwine.com. Um... The tornado is coming. 
and Milky Marbles will make his debut in the world and make all his lady friends tap out. Ha! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I thank you for Milky Marbles. I thank you for making me Milky Marbles. I thank you for Abduction Wine. I thank you for Exotica each and every year. I thank you for allowing me to be a member of the Abduction Wine family. Uh, www, Facebook, Abduction Wine, Twitter at Abduction Wine, Rob, uh, Rob, Lisa, Midget Victor, Midget Victor, your your family's in my thoughts and prayers. Um, if the awesome Santa's family could please uh, pray for Victor and his family, I'd appreciate that. Uh, you know, to Raven Bay, Michaela Cox, Miranda Miller, uh. Harley Marie and Captain Howdy. Uh, I love you guys. Um, Harley Marie, I'm gonna get uh, that, and I have. I'm not, I'm not gonna make the uh, announcement official to sometime next to next week, but that scene I was telling you about, I'm sending it to you for feedback. Thank you, thank you for all your love and all your support. Um, to Katie Morgan, thank you for the advice. I cannot wait to, you know, to the comic book men, you know, Ming, Mike, Walt, Brian, Jay, to, to my hero, to my inspiration, to my muse, to my mentor, Kevin Smith, the greatest motherfucking filmmaker of all motherfucking time, you best fucking recognize. I thank you. I thank you for 20 years of amazing movies. I being the coolest dude I've ever had the pleasure of talking to and meeting. And for giving a blind, orphaned kid something to shoot for. And as I produce my first porn scene, as I write my first short movie, which I'm going to enter into the San Diego Comic Con, as I wheel, deal, comic books and collectibles and girls, Pussy steal and live the American nightmare one day at a time. I thank you for playing Silent Bob and I thank you for everything that you've done, both professionally and personally, for me in the last 20 years. I'd like to thank my grandma, God, God res who's watching from heaven. I'd like to thank her for everything she did, she did for me during my lifetime. I would not thank you for raising me, for raising me right, and uh, I miss you, and I'm going to keep my promise, we're going to kick ass, we're going to take names, <laughs> all the names, but I'm thankful to every, everyone in comic books, Pop culture to all the pimps and whores. The the pimps and whores who give joy to the joyless and hope to the hopeless. Testify! I thank you. To anyone who listens to this, thank you. Um, let's all eat some turkey, eat some cheese, eat some some pie. I know, I, I know, I know sometime in the next couple of days I'm going to eat some poon tang pie. That should be a Thanksgiving dessert. Poon tang pie. Yeah, I think I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I don't know how, how I'm going to make it yet, but I'm going to make, and this, of course I'm going to eat the real poon tang pie. Because pussy tastes delicious. And it's delicious. Yeah. But, uh, you know, that's just how it rolls. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's awesome sauce. Tits pussy, that's awesome sauce. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Yeah. All right. Um, but to everyone and everyone who's helped me out in the last three years to get to where I am, whether it be everyone at the Joseph Cohn Training Center, 
whether it be Deacon, whether it be Fernando, whether it be Alien Rob, Dennis Hoff, uh, anyone and everyone, I love you, I thank you, and I thank you for being a part of the Awesome Sauce family and for helping me live the dream. Live your dream. You only get one life. If you have something you want to do, just go out and do it. And just uh, chase the dream, because when you chase the dream, you will catch it. Trust me. Trust me, bro. It's true. It's motherfucking true. Yeah. And we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna pay a little Kirby crackle. And uh, I'm gonna wet in the whistle Blind. with a little bit of cool just for the taste of it. Blind. Diet Coke. That's cause the clown shoe motherfucker. I asked the regular Coke, and he handed me a bottle of Diet Coke. And because I can't see it, didn't realize it until I brought it home from ShopRite. And took a swig. I know, it's another fucking ad! Point Hell Jordan gets mad blow jobs from Carol's Ferris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Testify. And we are back. This is the Awesome Sauce Comics Podcast. I am Adam Wonders, the comic pimp. And uh 
Today's episode is being brought to you by the official Gentleman's Club of the Awesome Sauce Comics Podcast. That would be Scores, 536 West 28th Street, between 10th and 11th Avenue. Um, I, I know I, I don't remember the fucking phone number because you know I only have two brain cells on my ha- my head that work. But www.scoresny.com. They got blonde girls. They got red girls. They got brown-eyed girls, they got blue-eyed girls, they got small girls, they got tall girls. You can get a drink and, you know, just have girls dance on your lap, titties in your face. For every for every girl you tip, you get a steak. Like droopy. Yeah! Awesome sauce! Tell them www.scoresny.com Now, I have something I need to get off my chest. I need to speak on this. Yeah! Can we stop with all the Justice League player hate? I mean, I've been on the Facebook, I've been on the Twitters, I've been on the Instagrams, I've been reading the reviews, and Rotten Tomatoes, you can suck a bag of dicks. Yeah, I said it. Rotten Tomatoes, you can go fuck yourselves. Yeah, I said it. I mean, really? What, what Justice League movie did you people watch? The TV pilot from 1997? What? I mean, what I saw in the theaters with my homeboy T- TJ Money Shot and uh, LJ from around the way, we went, we got a slice of pizza. Um, we got the, um... I feel like digging it out, but we went. We saw the IMAX AMC and got the exclusive variant comic, which I think I may get signed at the Ace Comic Con. I don't know. Um, more on that to come. Uh, but I saw a two-hour spectacle. I saw a two-hour comic book come to life. I saw Batfleck kick ass and take names. Oh, hang on. <laughs> Spoil, you, the spoiler warning is in that full effect. Let the record show. If you listen to this point on and you haven't seen the movie yet, you will be spoiled. Fair warning. But, what the fuck's with all the player hate? I mean, was it, you know, st- that it wasn't that piece of god awful fucking dog shit starring Shaquille O'Neal. Um, you know, you know the the Steel movie, the John Henry Irons who first appeared in the first appeared in the Venture, Adventures of Superman five hundred. You know the deal with the suit of armor and the hammer and shit. Um, it wasn't that movie. It wasn't that god fucking awful sperm dumpster piece of dog shit hellberry um what's the bitch's name from Fatal Attraction? Oh yeah, Sharon Stone, Catwoman. I mean did, did we not see a kick ass and granted he didn't get a lot of screen time, but I, all the interaction between Batman and Jason Moa, Moa, Moa's, uh, you know, Aquaman got me jacked and excited for Aquaman. You know what? Uh, the whole little thing where Batman's talking to Aquaman in the beginning, and he's like, I hear you talk to fish. That's straight from the Jeff Jones, Ivan Rice, New 52, number one. Um, you know, and granted, I'm not, I'm not the biggest Isaac Miller Flash fan in the world, 
Now Grant Gustin is my Flash. John Leslie Ship is my Flash. Michael Rosenbaum is my Flash. But this kid impressed me to the point where I let him be the fourth Flash in my life. What the fuck? Um, if I can get blowjobs from four different chicks a night, because that's how I roll, I can have four favorite Flashes in the order I just gave. I mean, I loved all the interaction between, once again, Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck is the Batman of this decade, I said it. He's one of the best Batman of all time. Fuck you all. You know, Wonder Woman's Wonder Woman. Uh, Steph and Wolf are at the effects were a little cheesy. Um, but still, man, it was great. Do you people remember 1997 and that live action, uh, you know, the Crypt Keeper as the fucking Adam fucking pilot? The one where they did this cheap, generic, you know, cardboard cutout fucking Weber Wizard? Even though Guy Gardner in there was probably pretty cool, but it was like the worst. Adaptation of Barry Allen the Flash ever. Um, Fire and Ice. Nah, -uh. he said, but they had the old guy from fucking Mash playing the Martian Manhunter. It's fucking, it's complete garbage. I mean, it's great if you have a couple blunts in you, maybe a couple beers. Maybe you went rolling at the club. You bring the girly girly back, and you need something to watch while you guys are online and shit. I mean, oh my god. I mean, it's just a fun movie. So stop, what? Hey, and I'm going to say this. If you motherfuckers, all you backseat Monday morning quarterback filmmakers... Think you could do better? We got iPhones. We got computers. You got Craigslist backstage. You can write a write a write a fan film. You know, make your own motherfucking movie if you think you can do better. Create your own fucking comic book if you think you can do better. You know. A person's, a, a, Zack Snyder's daughter died during the making of this. Um, <laughs> we had douchebags at Rotten Tomatoes and unsatisfied masturbating, living in their parents' basement, you know, unsatisfied fanboys to thank for the current state of the DC movie universe. Just no matter what DC, the DC could give you Jenna Jameson as Poison Ivy sucking off the G-spot clitoris of Margot Robbie's Harley Quinn. Why? I don't know. Some random unknown sexy big titted blonde. In a Catwoman costume, eating ice cream cake off the crack of Margot Robbie's ass in a Gotham City Sirens movie, and you motherfuckers still wouldn't be satisfied. I don't get the DC fan base. Suicide Squad. Once again, it's not the it, it's not fucking uh, Hamlet. It's not fucking uh, what's the name of that movie from Steven Spielberg? It's not fucking Schindler's List. It's not fucking The Godfather. But it's a fun movie. I mean, we got to see a live-action Killer Croc. Live-action fucking Captain Boomerang. Alright. Dead Shop by Will Smith was pretty fun. And we got Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn. And it was fun. Alright, the... Lido is the Joker suck more dick than a hooker in Times Square? You damn fucking right it did. You know, could they do better with another movie? You damn right. But hey, it's a lot better than Superman 4, the quest for peace. I mean, it, 
I'd rather watch The Suicide Squad than Arnold Schwarzenegger going, you know what killed the dinosaurs? The Ice Age and the mother of fucking Batman and Robin. Even though you, Uma Furman as Poison Ivy. So very sexy. Testify? So can we just be fucking happy? I'm sick of it. Every DC fucking movie. You know, we got... You can't satisfy the critics because, you know, if it's not a Marvel movie, it's not a real superhero movie. Um, you know, it, it's been this way since Men of Fucking Steel. And I say it's bullshit. Henry Cavill, like, those scenes with him and Lois Lane on the Kent farm brought tears to my eyes. They were that good. And I love the fact that he was in the classic, you know, Clark Kent reporter outfit from the from the movie. I mean, we got a Superman versus Flash race at those ending credit scenes. Never thought we'd see it. It brought tears to my eye when I saw it two years ago on Supergirl season one between Barry and Kara. But Barry and Cal, the Man of Steel versus the Scarlet Speedster on the big screen. You know, racing for brunch. Hmm, I got an idea. An idea is so great, I'm not going to tell you all about it until I write it. Because that's how I fucking roll. Yeah! Testify? Awesome sauce! But can we just start being a little satisfied? DC kills it on TV. There is no higher. Arrow, Flash, Legends of Tomorrow. I Zombie, Lucifer, Constantine, Gotham, all beautiful and amazing stuff. I mean, do their, do their movies need improvement? You're damn right. You know, but if you think you can sit there and you can make your own movie, then make a good DC fan movie. You know, go on the go on the GoFundMes, get your hot girlfriend slash actress, suck some dick for some money. Because... Now, sucking dick for money is the American way. Testify? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I know. Hey, man. If you're a hot girl, you know, I, 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 ask the next time you have to pay a bill, like at the restaurant, ask the waiter if he'll accept a blowjob and see if you're paying cash money for your bill, hot girls. Testify? Testify. Then I'm going to say, just... Enjoy the Justice League movie and stop being hyper fucking critical. Yeah! Awesome sauce! This next trailer is dedicated to my good friend Natasha Gray. Natasha, it's Adam Wonders, the comic pimp, blind Adam. Um, any you call me by any other name, it's still just as sweet. I want to say thank you for your friendship. If anyone could please support my good friend Natasha Bay on Chatterbait, um, uh, or on Cam Soda. Or any of any of the uh, cam 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 sites that she's on, please support her. Tip her, cause Natasha's one of my girls who works on tips and tips alone. I thank you for your encouragement, your advice, your support, and I hope to see you at a convention soon. Maybe even hire you to cosplay. I want to wish you a very lovely, very awesome, very amazing Thanksgiving, and uh, you have a great day. This this trailer is for you, babe. Say hello to your, to your uh, significant other. And I wish you and your entire family a happy Thanksgiving. Age. May Black Batman be Superman XXX. An Axel Rotten parody official trailer link heading the. What's with these fucking commercials and shit?
Alright, what's this one? What's this one? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Everybody. Almost everybody. Squirt gun. Now is that Andy as Lois on that? Yeah, I think that was Andy St. Thomas. She's fucking hot. So once again, that goes up to my good friend, who you can all please support and follow on Shatterbait, which I would appreciate. Tell her that the light Adam sent you, Adam Wonders, the comic pimp. Natasha Gray. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, man. Just support her on all the campsites, because that would be awesome to the sauce. And, uh, you know, she may be working for Awesome Sauce Comics in some capacity sometime in the future, but she's a good friend, and I just want to wish her happy Thanksgiving. Um... I didn't have much of an agenda today, um, but I wanted, just to show you how awesome DC really can be with their stuff, we are going to play, oh my god, starting Monday, the 27th of November, um, and I'm not going to do review anything with Doomsday Clock number one the next week, as I need to analyze it, read it, and enjoy it, but Doomsday Clock number one came out today, by the lenticular cover. By the Midnight Variant, because that's those are going to be the covers to make the money on. Um, and uh, that's how we, that's what we think about that. Uh, but, November 27th and 28th, the four-part Earth X Arrowverse crossover. If you're not buying copies of Justice League of America 107 and All-Star Squadron 31-35... Which are the first appearances of Earth X, the Freedom Fighters, Final Crisis numbers 2, 3, and 7. Um, which are the first appearances of Overgirl. Um, money, 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 money! Those are the books to be given pimp slaps to. Um, damage number 1. Damage is the son of the Golden Age, Al Pratt, of uh, Adam. I can see Legends of Tomorrow using him, so it's a dollar book, a buck, a book you can find for a buck. And give it a pip slap of doom! Yeah. But this is just awesome. Awesome. And, and, you know, I just want to say, I forget the actor's name, but the but Heat Wave from Legends of Tomorrow is probably one of the best things in the Arrowverse. Um, you know, I, I'm also really, I also love uh, Victor Garber uh, as Martin Stein. I mean, Legends of Tomorrow is the best DC show you're not watching. The Flash Season 4 Arrow Supergirl crossover official trailer Crisis on Earth X make now link heading level 3. Uh, DC TV Crisis on Earth X crossover full trailer The Flash Arrow Supergirl. Are we ready to rumble? Yeah, we're ready to rumble. 
Half the fucking battle, I guess. Wentworth Miller coming back as Citizen Cold. Citizen Cold first appears in another book to make the money, 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 money. You know, in uh, a flashpoint, Citizen Cold, number one. Uh, and I think with the flashpoint, with the Flash movie with Isaac Miller and the rumor of Jeffrey D. Morgan um, playing Thomas Wayne in Flashpoint. Um, now it's a good point that we'll see Citizen Cold in that movie as well. So that's a good book to pick up. Uh, you know, I just, this is, I cannot wait for this crossover. It's just awesome. It's amazing. Uh, I just thought of something. The first appearance of the modern day Earth X would be 52, the weekly series. Not the reboot. Number one. There's that final scene where they show all the Earths. And I think there's an Earth X with the Freedom Fighters there. And once again, it, this is just a great time to be a, a fan of comics, movies, TV, porn. I mean, the Axel Braun Superman vs. Batman trailer. I mean, it just... I mean, you can watch Lois, Lois Lane suck the Joker's dick off and then, you know, watch her get blown away from by the Joker. Just like, I mean, there was a comic book issue, Action Comics 719, where the Joker really almost 
kills the whistling by poisoning her. It's a great comic by Joe Casey. Search for it at conventions or at shops. Yeah, you can do that. eBay the motherfucker. My comic shop. Awesome Sauce Comics. We got your hook up. But I would say, have an awesome, amazing, magical, abundant Thanksgiving. Have a wonderful time with your family, your friends. Don't be anyone's ass on Black Friday for the last uh, Barbie doll. I mean, I want to see a MILF fight in my Toys R Us. I want to see two hot, sexy moms pulling hair, scratching eyes, ripping off the tops of the last Tickle Me Elmo doll. That would make me happy. But just remember this, this holiday season. It's not what you give, it's how you give. Give a gift that's from the heart, that's from the soul, that, that's a genuine thank you. Any, any stupid ass clown can spend the money, 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 money. But put, put it into it. And to all the ladies, give your man a blowjob for the holidays and you've done good. We'll get more on that. Um... But thank you all for being a part of the Awesome Sauce family. Have a happy Thanksgiving. Do not drink and drive. If you're going to drink and or get high, do it responsibly this Thanksgiving weekend. I love you. I thank you for being in my life. I thank you for inviting me into your homes. Keep one foot in the gutter, one fist in the gold. Too hot to handle, too cold to hold. Blind out, I'm out. God bless. I love you all. Stop recording this.